careful how you break my heart I might need it now A square for another dart It's easy when you just give in Cause no one needs to know And we don't talk about it How's everybody doing today? So here I am at Hillendale Memorial Gardens in Lithonia, Georgia. I've been wanting to come visit this grave for so long and last time I was here I didn't get to make it and now I'm finally here and I've gotten so many requests to visit this person's grave on my channel more than anyone else I think possibly and I'm finally here and I never responded to the people that really responded to the people that asked me to do it because I knew I was going to do it and I like to kind of surprise people with where I'm going to be but when it's a graveyard I, kind of, I felt bad I want to say I'm gonna do it I'm going to do it but well I'm here now and this is for all the TLC fans and it's you know not to uh, this is about Lisa Left Eye Lopez but not to make it about me but I've had family I've had close friends pass away but I get very affected uh, When a young person passed away, or it doesn't matter, older person, I get just, you know, I get very emotional very easily when it comes to things like this. And I was listening to TLC on the way here, and I loved them growing up. I loved this band. Ah, uh, did I love the, uh, TLC. And as soon as Unpretty came on, which is my favorite song by them, I just got a little teary eyed, a little choked up, and I still kind of feel it, a little pit in my stomach. It's hard, it's, you know, especially when somebody died so young and so tragically. But I'm going to show you a grave and tell you a little bit about Lisa Left Eye Lopez. Did you know that TLC are the biggest selling female trio of all time? Uh, they had only three albums when Lisa was alive. It was uh, on the TLC tip. Crazy, Sexy, Cool, and Fan Mail, which is my favorite album of theirs. Okay, I'm gonna show you the grave. It's right over here. This is, these grounds are absolutely gorgeous. If you come in, it's a tiny cemetery. Come in the front entrance, and I believe the grave would be right here. Now it's one of these here. Here she is. So Lisa was a founding member of the band TLC. And tragically, she died in Honduras in a car accident in 2002. A strange story having to do with her death. I'm gonna talk more about her life as well. But a strange story about her death was in Honduras two weeks before, a couple of weeks before her death, I believe it was her assistant was driving a car and they struck and killed a 10 year old boy in Honduras with the last name of Lopez. Lisa was severely shook by this and she paid for the funeral and the casket. She paid for everything for the family and donated extra money to them afterwards. And she, there's a documentary called, I believe it's the last days of left eye. And she talks about the fact that they had the same last name and she was saying that she's about she felt there was a spirit following her 
and that the spirit was meant for her. And then two weeks later, she died in a car crash. It's all very, very eerie and bizarre. So I'm gonna read you what it says. These are the lyrics from uh, Waterfalls, which is probably the biggest hit of all time. This is her rap part. I see a rainbow yesterday, but too many storms have come and gone, leaving a trace of not one God-given ray. Is it because my life is ten shades of gray? I pray all ten fade away, seldom praise him for the sunny days. And like his promise is true, only my faith can undo the many chances I blew to bring my life to a new. Clear blue and unconditional skies to dry the tears from my eyes, no more lonely cries. My ever-bleeding hope is for the folks who can't cope with such enduring pain that it keeps them in the pouring rain. Who's to blame for tooting cane into your own vein? What a shame you're shooting aim for someone else's brain. You claim the insane and name this day and time for falling prey to crime. I say the system's got you victim to your own mind. Dreams are hopeless aspirations and hopes of coming true. Believe in yourself, the rest is up to me and you. And this line here, dreams are hopeless aspirations and hopes of coming true. Believe in yourself, the rest is up to me and you, is engraved on her casket as well. And then down here, says Lisa, our darling daughter and sister, we will greatly miss your smiling face. We will also miss the hug and kiss that came with every visit and the I love you with every goodbye. But the memory of all your attributes will be embedded in our hearts and minds forever until we meet again. You asked our Lord to remove your shackles so you can praise him and he did that for you. Forever rejoicing in his presence, love and kisses always, Mommy Ronald Reyna. We are completely known and never alone in our relationship with God. What a comfort. So for those of you that don't know TLC or Lisa Lopez, like I said, they're one of the biggest selling bands of all time. I think it's like 24 million copies or something like that of their second album, Crazy Sexy Cool. 14 million copies of, uh, that's worldwide, of fan mail. But, you know, she had a reputation, which angers me because she was called crazy. She was called the B word a lot. Derogatory for women. And she, she did some, you know, I, lighting her boyfriend's shoes on fire after she suspected him of infidelity or found out about his infidelity. I'm not sure how that went down. And then the mansion burned down because of that. She lit them on fire in a bathtub. You know, people called her crazy. But if a male had done that, artist or not, or just a regular person, they call him a rebel. They call him taking charge or something like that. But when it's a woman, they call her crazy. And then she was known as a perfectionist. And she was really, she really pushed the group hard. People say that she was trying to tear them apart. She was just trying to make them better and fly higher. That's my opinion. I think it's a, a lot of sexism when it comes to uh, thinking about Lisa Lopez's legacy. She wasn't crazy. She was a rebel and she was, she stood up for herself. And isn't that what we should all do, right? I sound like I'm angry or preaching, I'm not. I'm just kind of like thinking about her. And I've been thinking about her all day that I've been coming out here to film this. And she's, she wanted the best for the group and she pushed them hard. She pushed the band hard to be better and better. She was such a sweet, she adopted two children. She was known as so loving to her family. She grew up in Philadelphia with a, uh, I believe her father was very, very strict. Then she moved down to Atlanta, auditioned for TLC and got in. And there were three members and then one of them didn't work out then. Chili came into the band. So is t Boz, Left Eye and Chile, and they went on to super, super stardom. It's 
really sad about the accident in Honduras. She swerved to avoid a car, went off the side of the road, and she wasn't wearing a seatbelt. She was ejected from the car and died pretty much on impact. Everyone else in the car survived. And they were filming from the front seat at the time for the documentary they were making, which is just, wow. I would watch Waterfalls or Unpretty instead of watching that, which is just so sad to see. Because I don't know how that video got out there like that. I don't think it should be. Yeah, but my favorite song is definitely Unpretty. And I was thinking about anthems of the 90s. And I was like, well, there's Smells Like Teen Spirit, Jeremy by Pearl Jam, maybe Bullet With Butterfly Wings by Smashing Pumpkins. But no Scrubs by TLC is way, way up there. Probably in the top five, maybe number one anthem of the 90s. Nobody wants a scrub. That song is so well-crafted, almost a perfect pop song. Same with Waterfalls and, of course, my favorite, I'm Pretty. Just perfect, perfect pop R&B songs. Just so well done, so uh, amazing. So you can see Lisa's right here overlooking this beautiful lake and the cemetery continues over there on the other side. And that's it, it's pretty tiny. So like I said, she was born in Philadelphia, but she moved to uh, Atlanta when she was 19. So I guess by that, she only spent about 11 or 12 years here in Atlanta, but this is, was home to her. I urge everyone to put on Unpretty right now as soon as this video is over. The song is just so beautiful. It has such a beautiful message for young women. And I don't know, I just, as soon as I hear the opening, uh, chords of it. As soon as I hear the, the start of that song, it gets me a little, uh, every time I hear it, every time I hear it now, because of uh, Lisa. Sometimes I, when I come out to graves of people that I really admired and really loved, famous people, because I'm a pop culture junkie, I just, you know, I don't want to leave. And this is another one of those where I just don't want to leave. I've been wanting to come out here, like I said, for so long and I'm finally here. But I'll come back again. And for those of you who can't get out here, I hope you're able to pay your respects through this video. Felisa Lopez. Okay, so I'm going to go somewhere else, do some filming today. Felisa Left Eye Lopez, rest in peace. You were and are so talented, so beautiful, so loving, so caring. And yeah, I. Um, I'm never at a loss for words. Okay, peace. Ow. Just before I go, uh, if you're gonna come out here, it seems to be a fairly new cemetery, and especially the area where Lisa is buried. There's a lot of younger people. I'm talking 19, 24, I saw 29, 36. 
and they've got huge marble and uh, headstones, flat ones on the ground, and they've got a lot of pictures of the person. It's really heartbreaking, like really, really sad. I, I just walked around for 20 minutes and was reading them. Um, all these people that were so loved by their family and so young. So just remember that when you come here and there's gonna be a few people sitting around at their loved one's grave. So you always just gotta be respectful of that and just come pay your respects. But yeah, it's really, it, it's, it's hard sometimes. And this is a harder one because surrounding Lisa are people who are her, her age and a lot younger. And then when you see their faces full of life and doing various activities, it has uh, somebody, you know, playing basketball and then wedding day and um, uh, drumming. Another one with a guitar, playing guitar. And it's just, it's really hard. So just remember that when you come out here but it's, it's, uh, it's worth coming here, of course. Pay respects to Lisa and everyone else that's here. Okay. So peace to everyone that's buried here. Ah, uh, this is a, this one was harder than I thought. Okay. I said everything I want to say about Lisa, I think. Rest in peace, Lisa Lopez.